Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. In this lesson, what we're going to do is continue learning how to use the Z chart to find areas under the standard normal distribution. And you might say, well, we didn't we just learn that? Well, yeah, I introduced it to you in the last section. Mostly what we tried to do is to show you that when you use this chart and you, you, you look up a Z value, the answer you get is the area to the left of that Z value, all the way into the, to the tail, off, off to the left-hand side. But in many cases, um, that, is, that is true that a lot of problems just want to know what that area is, which is a probability. But a lot of times you want to find different types of area uh, under that normal distribution. Uh, and, and it'll make a little bit more sense when we get to our actual statistical problems. But for now, just know that, for instance, you might have a problem where you want to find the area between z is equal to 0 0.35 and z is equal to 1.85. Basically, let's say you had some problem trying to find the uh, probability of some event happening and it ends up being that you want to find the area under the curve between this value of z and this value of z. This is a different kind of problem that we've had to tackle before. So just to kind of illustrate what this is, if this is your normal distribution, like this, or your standard normal distribution, then what this is saying is, if you think about it, this is plus one and this is minus one and this is two, and this is minus two. It's not totally symmetrical, I'm trying to do my best there. But the bottom line is, what I'm interested in is a area of point, or a Z value of 0.35, which is down here somewhere. So this is 0 0.35, and this is 1.85, which is over here somewhere. So this is 1.85, you see where those lie? And I'm trying to find the area between them. So that means I'm interested in the area that lies only between these values of z, right? So a lot of times I might have a problem where I don't want to find the area off to the left. You know, a lot of times you, you don't want that. You want to know the area between two values of z. But you want to use that same table that we've already done. So you, or that we've already used. And so you might look at this and say, well, I don't know how to do that because the table gives us the area to the left. So how do I find the area under the curve between two values? And the answer comes in the form of subtraction. Use your imagination. If I just look this value in the chart up, just 1.85, the answer I'm gonna get is gonna be the area under the curve all the way to negative infinity, all the way to this value, right? So that's a big number, right? Now if I subtract from that, the answer I get the table from, from the table from this number, if I were to get this area, it would be only the area from here to negative infinity. So if I subtract those two answers I get from the table, I'm going to be left with this guy right here. And that's essentially what you have to do when you try to find